some kind of a four wheel club. This might be the last, yeah, they're the last one. I've seen it where there's like 20 of them in a line just riding, kicking up dust. Not sure where they go though, exactly. I gotta say that Idaho has some of the clearest water I've ever seen. Well, I've seen a lot of clear water, but this is some nice clear water. Not just in, not so much Idaho though, more like Idaho City area. And I find it interesting to add further to that, that um, people have said on the website, I guess because people have said that the, this is the, some of the cleanest water to drink um, in Idaho City, that's partly what attracted people to Idaho City was the, uh, the nice clean drinking water. Um, this water looks like you could practically drink from it, but um, I wouldn't take that chance. Still want to boil it, but I bet even after boiling it, it still tastes pretty fresh. I noticed that my heart was giving me a little trouble today, and um, I tried to lay down as best I could on my stomach in the car, which is very difficult over a seat, over the driver's seat. But I did, and I got relief. I think a lot of my heart problems are a result of poor posture, bad posture. I need to do more yoga when I get problems there. It's not always something that uh, requires an herbal therapy. I just re need to readjust my position because I get into bad habits of, of just constantly sitting and, and hunching over. Because, uh, you know, that's the norm for uh, being in public places. And it's hard for me to get out of public places to do uh, better stretches to counteract. Alright, is this some kind of mistake? Frost heaves? You think that it looks like a foldable sign. But they don't, uh, un they don't uh, fold it back up, so... I guess it's either a prank or... It really is frost. Okay, so this spot is the northeast corner of a uh, generic mining claim. And it's a part of the National Forest. Alright, so it says, Piece of the Pie, who is the owner of this. I guess you can, you can buy portions of the Idaho forest. Right, so I've reached a designated uh, campground because there's a sign that says uh, what the restrictions are for fire. So, uh, propane is still allowed. And as you can see, this is all, all these hills of rocks are from placer mining well outside the Idaho city village. Yeah, it's one extremely rocky drive. Uh, way driveway from 21 but uh, that that res definitely restricts the th amount of people the type of people that come over here and then you can see all the majesty looks like it's uh, a good depth over in the stream oh they got a little dam over there possibly for the the mining I think a lot of people set up these rock dams for mining and a little trail that goes to this little pool over here which the pool is going to be warmer than the, the uh, stream. The stream is usually pretty cold so if you want kind of a hot tub then something like this. It's fairly deep, extremely dirty of course. Lots of tracks too. Just only humans. But yeah, just a little bit of a trickle comes in. So it's pretty neat. So somebody set up camp here. It didn't burn everything. But I think this park was maybe the one that was closed when the fire was happening. But yeah, they got, yeah, you can see they've been up and down this to get over the, the creek, the stream. It's a neat little spot. You almost want to go up higher though to get a better view. I think you can see a lot of evidence of the snow melt off. It creates a lot of these gulches 
around the area. This looks this looks like a little path for a stream. To me at least it seems like it is to get to the well the, the the stream that runs all year long. Unless that freezes, I don't know. Yeah, this would be another gulch. Another gulch runoff. I'd take the water down to that stream. Yeah, a while ago when I was at the food bank line in Meridian, we were we talked. To, I talked with two other people, a, a guy about my age and then an older lady, maybe 20 years older. We all talked about mining while we s stood in line for like an hour and a half. That was like the main, kind of the main topic that uh, seemed to really stimulate the conversation. I found it fascinating and they had the experience with it. The guy about my age, I think he only did gold panning in the river or the stream, maybe a stream like this. And then the lady said that she had some kind of a box or a machine. I wonder if she had a sluice. I, I didn't really pay close that close attention to what she said because I didn't understand it. But now I know a little bit more about the tools. She might have been using a sluice. And she said she she found a few carrots worth about $500 out here on her claim. I'm not sure how those claims work exactly, but uh, it'd be interesting to, to learn more. Oh, there's another can over there. there yeah, there's, there's another tin can over there. All right, I'm just gonna get a close look at this insect. It looks like it's just, yeah, the shell of an insect. So, whatever. Those things are around the area. I may have sat here for like 20 minutes and I didn't notice the service berries until just now. They're a little dehydrated, but they're, they're quite sweet. Nice little snack while I sit here. All right, it looks like the Idaho Pride. Here's another sign for them on the other end of the trail. It looks like they got a large area that they're just staking off for themselves. That's interesting. I, I didn't, I don't know what the limitations are for, for uh, space. You know, this road used to be nice and quiet during the fire. Man, is it busy now. It's just a convoy. It's incredible. They're gonna be, there's, there might, it might be a traffic jam if there's enough of them. It's, the fire is partly why the camp is all for those past couple of weeks for me too. All right, so this is a horse snowshoe <clears throat> right here. All right, you can really experience the extremes of this, uh, I don't know, this climate, this environment, because it's very hot in the 90s out in this, like, weather, but you step in this water, and it's, it's like, um, like a 45 degrees or so. It's very, very chilly, and, uh, I didn't expect to sink so far right there. And there's little schools of pockets of fish. Yeah, they're just hanging out in that corner. Now I'm scaring them away. But it's the non-dirty corner. They, they're, all their swimming is pushed away like the, a film that grows in certain areas of the stream that doesn't get the, the, uh, the torrent like a lot of the others. But, it's, it's pretty difficult. I gotta keep my clothes on because it's pretty difficult to to deal with uh, the extreme cold and then the extreme sun. You know, you get burnt and you almost can get sick from from how cold it is out here. I did have a couple of horse flies or deer flies on me, but uh, it's not as bad as Wisconsin. Deer flies don't seem to or even horse flies don't seem to exist in the Washington 
west of the Cascades. They're starting to creep up in Idaho. I guess they're not too thrilled about this drier climate. It's, uh, it's more, they probably prefer a little more humidity. Mosquitoes, of course, are bad, but at night only. I get them in my car every night I've been here. I've always had at least one mosquito. I don't know where they're hiding or how they're sneaking in. I think they're sneaking in, but that's just it. Just got to deal with it. So, <clears throat> As I was cleaning my pants in the stream, I had a bunch of fish that grouped up behind me. Thought that was kind of amusing. Maybe they like that dead skin that accumulated over the, the months I, that I haven't washed those pants.